Greetings and welcome to the RC Wall Vacuum Channel. Uh, for today's video, I'm back up here on the track and uh, due to a lot of distractions this year, I've just the first time I've been up here in the last two months. But what I'm up here to do is uh, to give a field test of the latest addition to the wireless SCADA for these uh, and for these Fiscale, the engine management SCADA for the Fiscales here. So if you haven't seen the last video, I put the uh, Hall Effect sensor in and tied it into the system and gave it a quick test inside the shop. So today I want to bring it up here and actually do a field test with it. And this is probably the last nice day we're going to have in this area this fall if we're giving a test like this. So the job ahead, just a slight bit. The next stage is going to be a um, addition of a GPS. And uh, that's actually going pretty well. I got the software and the hardware developed and i am actually got it in my truck as a test speedometer going back and forth to work to see how it's working out. I do believe I'm going to have enough space on the memory in the 48, the Atmel uh, AVR 4809, 4809 processor I'm using. Should be able to hold them, hold the, uh, all the software in there. So that will be the next stage, but that ain't going to be today. So let me get this thing on the ground and fire it up and uh, we'll give a, give, a, give a test up here. I got some more dirt added onto the berms and the uh, jumps here a couple months ago and spent a little bit of time trying to get that cut in today. So uh, stick around. That didn't take long.
I'm getting out of that one. Cut from the lumbers, but they're still getting the feed there. getting numbers so I backed out now here in the shop and uh, I've had a chance to go through and uh, review the video footage from what was on the display and it's gonna do a quick post-mortem so one of the things I strive to do in these videos is kind of give the viewer a, uh, a front seat view of at least some of the uh, trials and tribulations and just downright bullshit you gotta go through uh, developing some of these things and you know, if not, for nothing else at least give you a better appreciation when you go to buy a commercial off-the-shelf product at a hobby store or wherever else that Someone, or more likely several people, had to put up a lot of horse shit uh, to get this going. So that being said, I was going to give a, a little rundown of some of the positives and some of the negatives I've seen so far on this, uh, this SCADA device. So I'll start with the positives and work my way down to the negatives. The, uh, the first positive has been, been the EGT sensor. That's, uh, I got that, it's tucked up underneath there. That's been flawless. Once it got welded in there, there's been absolutely no issues with that. I'm using uh, analog devices, AD8495, uh, uh, thermocouple in because it's just a K-type K thermocouple in there and the software has been working real well so that, that's been flawless. The CHT sensor also is a thermo, uh, K-type thermocouple I'm using the same uh, instrumentation amplifier for that uh, but mechanically it's been a little more of a problem. Uh, what that is is they got, the, I bought these from I believe sensor source is where I got it from and this just slides into a little ring terminal crimped in there and it hasn't been super reliable. The last run it, it was partly out, so it was probably temperature more by proximity than uh, contact. But the software, is, actually the software and hardware are, uh, are identical for both the EGT and the CHT sensor. Now as far as the RPM goes, the, I think the Hall Effect sensor is bringing back the signals properly. 
Uh, I got to put a scope on there to verify it, but I think the problem is my software. The, the numbers just doesn't don't seem right what I was seeing there. They almost seem like they're pulled off of a lookup table in software. And since I wrote the software, I know there's no lookup table in there, so I'm not sure what's going on with there. But one thing I am doing with these things is I'm using software timers in C++ to uh, calculate the uh, values coming off of that thing. And they're notoriously inaccurate, so I'm going to switch over to hardware-based timers, and they'll sit there and they'll run autonomously in the background, and the registers will get sampled when need be by the software, and the calculations will get done. Should be a lot more accurate. Another thing I've seen a problem with, too, is on the display, I keep getting random numbers thrown up there. When I first started with this, I started with a, uh, this particular LCD and then a small OLED. And otherwise, they were identical circuits. I had one transmitter sending out data, both of them, the exact same data. And right from the start, this LCD one's been kind of wiggy, and the OLED was flawless. But the problem was the OLED, uh, it kind of washes out in the, uh, the sun, so that's why I stuck with the LCD. So I don't, I'm not sure what's going on. I'll have to look into that sometime in the future. So like I mentioned earlier, uh, GPS is going to be going in here next. Um, but this, since uh, we're running into bad weather around here, I'm not going to be able to run this thing, and I need to be able to run this to, to uh, develop the prototype on this. So I'm going to be shelving this project for a little bit, and I'm going to be turning my attention to a, uh, a new project, and it's going to be fabricating. So I'll be breaking out the uh, TIG welder and some machine tools, and what I got in the works is a, a fifth scale electrified version of a Tucker Snowcat. Uh, if you're not familiar with Tucker Snowcats, then you must be living under a rock because they're, they're pretty cool devices. And never could afford one, but I've always thought it'd be kind of cool to have one. So I think I'll, I'll try to make a miniaturized one. And it, it's going to be based on the fifth scale or the uh, Losey 5T 2.0 fifth scale geometry, but it's going to be all handcrafted uh, framework and roll cage on it. And I'm going to model it after the, uh, the more antique uh, passenger carrying type uh, snowcat, but with the quad tracks. So that's what's in the works for the next project. Uh, it's going to be a lot of, lot of work and several videos, but it'll be a pretty unique project, I, I hope. Um, I want to go with electric because then I can play around with the torque a lot more than I can with an engine. But um, so in the meantime, uh, thanks for watching.